what's going on machine masters my name is MG the future thank you for joining us today today's video i will be inside of fl studio however i'm going to be showing you a plugin that may help you regardless of which program you're using um, this came up in context of me using fl studio and certain new plugins not working appropriately because the MIDI routing is really tricky in certain programs. So this tutorial will benefit you greatly if you have Instacord, Scalar, or any of those MIDI plugins that you've been seeing me use in the past couple of weeks. And of course, the biggest group of people affected are machine users, Akai MPC software users, Reason users, FL Studio for Mac. So I'm going to try to tackle all these birds with one stone. And the name of this plugin is called Patchwork. It's by a developer by the name of Blue Cats. Um, they're one of the first developers to kind of create utility plugins that greatly benefited a lot of Pro Tools users with the uh, conversion of 32 to 64 bit and AAX and RTAS and all that stuff. So they made a lot of utilities that help you cross over plugins. Patchwork is no exception. In fact, if you've ever used Reason and you're familiar with Combinator, that's exactly what it is in theory. So I'm gonna show you the effects version of this plugin first. So I'm gonna go to my FL Studio Mixer and depending on what software you're using, you go to your mixer where you insert your insert effects. And what you'll use is the Blue Cats Patchwork BST. And what this allows you to do is to chain multiple effects together. You can chain a whole lot of things as well. You can create more slots, more rows, and pretty much make any kind of combination of things. So the most practical example in FL Studio is that we have VST support, but we may not have VST3 support yet or AU support yet. So I could load any of these formatted plugins into FL Studio without any problems. The only thing is it has to be contained within Blue Cats. So I'll go to load AU. It'll automatically take me to my components folder on Mac. I'll switch it to list view. And since this particular project is just a drum break, um, some of the uh, plugins I had trouble in with FL Studio, especially are my Acoustica plugins. So I'll put the Ebony compressor on it. That'll come up and pop. And then right after that, you might want to put something else. I try to keep the format the same across the board. So maybe an EQ or something. Let's see what I got. That's usually out of pocket. <laughs> UBK. In fact, my UBK never shows up in FL Studio. So I'll pull that up and you keep going. And what's cool is that you can have a different set of plugins going vertically for like your pre, basically like your filters and things like that. And then send it serial or parallel, which this could be like sends. Like you could send just a percentage of this channel to the compressors and just a percentage of it to a reverb, etc. So it's really cool. So right now there's some phase distortion. back and you can kind of blend it so that's really cool for effects you create really complex chains you can save them as a preset and then once you do that like say if you're recording yourself rapping or someone that comes over a lot and you have a certain chain working you can save it within blue cats and then open it up in different programs whether it's pro tools logic machine ableton whatever you're using you can reuse that chain without having to set it up each time so it's really efficient and effective and plus it does a whole lot more but the most important thing I want to show you is how it handles MIDI instruments. So in this little drum break, I'm probably going to add some strums to it. So the new thing that we've been using is called Instacords. So I'm going to open up the synth version of Blue Cats this time. And all I need is two slots, one for Instacord and one for the VST instrument. Instacords creates MIDI data that has to pass on to your VST instrument, so in my case, Sample Tank. And what will happen is a machine, a Kai software, Reason, and everything else, if you put two VSTs on or two instruments on the same channel they don't talk to each other blue cats natively will let a midi utility talk to a midi instrument so this is a workaround for a lot of people so i'm gonna do load of au on pull up instacord first since we're going in a line across now this is instacord and then i want it to feed sample tank all right now i got sample tank open let's get an ethnic sound something that'll sound good being strummed there's a ton here very cool so what I need is Instacord, which has a very particular <laughs> setup. Uh, you get to trigger uh, strums and chords at the same time. So I'm going to do a basic chord progression. I think I'm going to do an A and a D minor, right? So I'm going to set up my chords first. I'll move these out of my octave range. I'm using a Kai Mini, so I only have two octaves, so I'm only going to use two columns. So I'm going to do an A minor chord, probably a minor ninth, just so it can sound, you know, cool. And then I'm going to do a D minor chord as well let's make it a minor knife as well and then this these are all the strums they're already lit up and i'll be good to go but the problem is if i click on any of this 
you notice nothing's talking. None of this is lighting up. So what I have to do is tell Instacord the MIDI output to go to a port A, similar to how we set up certain things in FL Studio, like contact. And I'm going to tell Sample Tank MIDI input to listen to channel one of port A. However, there's one step you don't want to skip. When you do that, host is also on by default. That's how we're he hearing Sample Tank currently. So I'm going to turn that off. So I only want Instacord triggered. Now there's no sound. And now I just got to find the range that Instacord talks to it. All right. So I got my chord select and I got my strum select. So now I could play along with my beat, having this particular instrument and the strums that it creates feed sample tank. Now I'll leave Instacord open so you can see it. Now I can change the chord. So now I can record that. That'll go to the Blue Catch track. Let's make sure it caught all that. I need that first note to set off the chords. And as it's playing, we go to Blue Cats and watch the chords change with the strums. So that's Blue Cat's patchwork. I just wanted to show you guys, especially the machine users, Akai MPC software users, and FL Studio to a great extent on Mac, because a lot of the functions are still kind of shaky due to the beta, but this allows me to open up all my plugins in any DAW I wish. I can save this as a chain itself, and then this way I don't have to ever set it up again. So you can create a patchwork chain for Instacord in your favorite VST. You set it up for Scalar in your favorite VST. Captain as well. A lot of people like the Captain plugin. So you set up different chains, save them as presets, set them up once, and you're good to go. But one last time in case you missed it, the most important thing about using it for MIDI tool is that your MIDI instrument or your MIDI utility has to have an output that goes to a port. And on the receiving end of the instrument itself, it has to read that port, channel one usually, you don't have to worry about these other channels unless you're setting up multiple channels in like contact or multi instruments. So channel one is good and host is on by default, uncheck it or set it to none and everything should speak to each other fluently and you shouldn't have problems with these plugins and you won't miss it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm MG the future. Thank you for joining us on the machine masters channel today. Hopefully you have a productive week ahead. Any comments, questions or concerns, definitely leave them in the comments box below. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at MG the future. Also follow at Machine Masters. Until next time, peace.